Welcome back to our channel, we're Stefano and Sasha. We've been up to a lot lately, so we're gonna fill you in. Last year, we self-converted a shuttle bus and traveled to Baja, California. Then we swapped that for a truck camper and we spent four months driving down to Costa Rica and back where we rescued our beautiful new puppy, Nala. Now we're on to a new project. We are converting this ambulance into a full-time home on wheels. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more. Good morning guys, welcome back. Welcome to today's video. We are going to show you how to wire a 12 volt puck light system for your van or your bus build. This is the second time that we've done this, so we are feeling pretty confident. And um, we're going to show you all the components that you need and everything like that. We are going to be wiring them in parallel today and the reason for that is if one light kind of blows or goes, the rest of your lights the system will still, still work. Works. Yeah. And you know which lights exactly, like it's not yeah. working anymore. Yeah, and it's easy to replace. You just pull it out and put a new one in. So it's a tiny bit more effort than the other way to do it in series, but I feel like it is a more thorough, more organized way to yeah, wire. Yeah, it will make it easier in case you have any problem in the future. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna show you the components one by one, which ones you need. We're going to need some red and black wire. We are using 14 gauge wire, which is a nice size for puck lighting. You are going to need your 12 volt puck lights. We just found these in a pack of four off Amazon. You're going to need three way connectors, one for each puck light, male and female connector, and an on off switch to turn it on off at the wall. I'm going to show you a quick demonstration before we show you how we wire it. So this is our van. This is the driver's side. This is the front of the van. This is our kitchen cabinet, our stovetop cabinet, and then this is the back of the van. Now here's where our fuse box is going to go. It's really important that you map out where all of your connections are going to end. And then we're actually going to run two separate systems. We're gonna have four main kind of cabin lights. Those are going to run off a switch next to the side door. So you can turn it on as you get in. And then we're also going to have two little um, puck lights over just the bed area. And this is our kind of little uh, dim kind of nighttime vibe. And we're gonna have a switch near the bed here so you can turn those on and off. So first I'm gonna show you how to run the positives. So we are going to put a little tail on each puck light of red or positive cable. And then we are also going to put a little negative tail on each puck light. A really good reason for wiring it this way is so that if one light goes out, it's super easy to replace. You don't have to pull the whole thing out. And so I'm gonna show you the red. So we're gonna run the red from our switch and it is going to go attached to all of the reds in series to all of our red little tails. And then we're going to take another red and we're gonna run it from the switch over to the fuse box. So that's the positives. And then we're gonna do something kind of similar with the negatives. However, only the positives or the red go to the switch. So for the negative, we are going to run it from each negative little tail and then it is going to run into the fuse box. So the fuse box gets a positive and a negative and the switch only gets positive. We're gonna do the same thing with the switch to these lights. So we're gonna run the red to both of the lights from the switch, that's our positive. And then we're going to run a red from the light switch to the fuse box. That's our positive. We make those ones red. And then we are going to do the same thing with the negative. We're gonna connect one negative to the other. And then guess where we're gonna go? Not to the switch, because remember that's only positive. 
but to the fuse box. So the fuse box gets a positive and a negative from each set and the switches get a positive. Then you run a positive from the switch, from each switch to the fuse box. All right, guys, I'm just going to quickly show how the whole process work and then we're just going to do on the van. So first you want to grab your light and crimp the male adapter. Uh, so the system is pretty simple. Uh, you just get one of these, place it into the wire and just use your crimper to crimp them and make sure like you try to pull them a little bit so it looks like it's not like it needs to be tight, quite tight. And so once we're done then we are going to work on the whole system. So what we're gonna do is have a main line. So let's pretend this is the main line and then we're gonna create a connection for each single light. So this little guy here is called three-way connection. It allows you to connect multiple wires in the main system. So you see this got a little two hole. Uh, this one here, the one more inside has a little stopper on the other side. So what you wanna do is place the wire that is gonna connect to the lights to here. And then you're gonna press, uh, push, push the main line through it. So what's gonna happen, uh, you place in this way and then with the pliers you just push this down and it's gonna create the connection. On the other end you are going to use a female adapter for here which we have here. So you're gonna have a female adapter make sure you strip a little bit of this side which is gonna connect to the male of the lights. And you're gonna do this with a, for the red wire and for the black wire. So this is gonna be like a long line and you're gonna connect, connect each single light on them. This is the line for the red wire. You're gonna have to replicate the same for the black line. So we're gonna show you uh, when we do it on the van. So we're gonna place the female connector into the wire we're gonna hold it in place like this making sure it doesn't slide so we want to have this little metal ring which is inside around the exposed wire then we get the creeper if it's called like this and we press it down and that's it just always make sure it's tight and we do the same for the other one So first we've mapped out where our switch is going to go. Our switch is gonna go here. So now we know where we can run the wires. And where is this going? From so the switch to? From the switch to the last light. Okay. We've mapped out where we're putting our lights here. We're gonna have one here, two here, three here and four here. We've made sure they're in even measurement away from each other. So it's nice and centered. So the color is gonna be six lights. Yeah. We're gonna have two, four, and another two with a different switch. So this is gonna be over the bed. So that's gonna be kind of separate. So we're just gonna do this system with the four first because we don't have the other two lights yet. Yep. What you wanna do now is run in the main line uh, either with red and black, we are doing black at the moment, and this is the end of the line. So you want to end up your like main line with a light. So Stefano is connecting all of the lights, and I am just cutting the tails for the three-way switches. So we have four puck lights, so we need four red and four black. He's just got the rest of them and then these will go in the three-way connectors. These are maybe, I don't know, they're this big. They're maybe like five or six inches long. 
Then you wanna strip the wire a little bit that is going into the connectors. crimp the connector so it's nice and snugly and then just add the puck light piece of cake right baby yes the hard part is when you plug it into the battery and you see if it actually works uh -huh. or not <laughs> was the best of five <laughs> lights are wired we've got four puck lights male to female connectors two two three-way connectors one on the black one on the red then the tail end of our red is here we've labeled it it's going to run into the switch into the light switch which Stefano has put the male to female connectors on and now we're gonna create the third line always with the red even though this is like a black so we're gonna place the switch here and we're gonna run another red line that from here all along there or up top, all top goes fuse box. where we're gonna place the fuse box yeah and the tail end of our black line is already going to the fuse box so we've labeled that that's going to the fuse box not confusing at all. That's all for this week. Thank you for watching. Next week, we are going to show you how to install the solar panels onto the van and finish our electrical system. We'll see you next week.